Thank you. Uh, this is the first project in the first year. It's about to design a space between parallel walls. So as to achieve a basic understanding of architecture through an open-end exploration, I use paper folding methodology to form a playful organization of connected surfaces. Lights and shades played important roles in its projects. And, and this is the second project in the first year, is to design an uh, Exmoor pavilion near the canal in Scotland. I choose to design a pigeon coop. It's a uh, arithmetic of wings of birds and sound waves. It's a celebration of small is beautiful and, uh, and using timber as a primary material. And this is the night view of the physical timber model I made at scale 1 to 10. It's an 8 meter high pavilion. My inspiration comes from the, the natural beauty of the wings of birds and overlapping timber material. The branches are for pigeons to land in the same way as the tree branches. And, and this is the summer project between first and second year, which is about to redraw the conceptual drawing of Daniel Libeskind by hand. And tracing paper was a not lot to use, and hand drawing is important as you draw a line by hand, you think through it. Well, if you draw a line, uh, AutoCAD is just two points. And I both redraw and rearrange the pictures of different architectural elements. The methodology of graphical composition comes from the reference I found in the book that Daniel Libeskind's drawing is actually a drama setting depicting the situation of contemporary life in modern society and the lack of boundary between inside and outside and the self and the world. And this is the first project in the second year. It's about creating a cubic space. I've made a physical model based on a spatial grid and I put photographs of the model upon the drawing I've made, analyzing the, the footprints of a group of people in a certain activity. The resultant abstract image are source of inspiration for architectural design. And this is the second project in the second year of architectural studies. It's about to build a three-dimensional model in rhinoceros to represent the uh, activity and the enclosure of the activity. The digital model describes time, space, and motion of a group of people practicing Kung Fu. Digital media is not only a visualization tool, but rather a design process. We were asked to make, um, determine the cut plan and sections out of the digital model. The purpose of this creative decision is to propose a set of relationship between space and boundary and open and close, improving the readability of uh, ambiguous dynamic architectural renderings and drawing. And this is the third project of my second year, which is to develop a physical timber model out of the previous digital model. It's about depicting space in relation to speed by narrowing down and widening up the structural members of the pavilion. Uh, lower spaces accelerate an activity inside and vice versa. And this is a site analysis part of the first project in my third year where we were asked not only to determine the typology of context in a conventional way, but also, more importantly, to register senses through different methodologies as a creative decision. I have made imaginative uh, imagination of site inhabitation after 500 years, and this is my design of the project, which is about to create a house for the cooks in a rural setting of Scotland. My proposal features several pocket spaces and gardens and ponds in order to create special moments for the inhabitants to linger, savor, and touch. And this is the, an atmospherical illustration of the inhabitation of the building's ground floor. It takes a, a fairy tale approach as opposed to the cold computer renderings. I've also created a, a decorative version of the building's exterior looking and landscaping on the facades. Hand drawing figures largely in my creative process of architectural making. And, and this is the second project in the third year. It's about making experimental urban intrusion. In a Scottish town, I marked out the negative spaces within the boundary of the site and make a drawing depicting the activities on site as an agent of sculpting through the space and void as if out of butter. And this is a town study process. I've created floating platforms in spaces between buildings on site and then linked them up to form a sky city from which I've made a physical model helping me to translate them into archi actual architectural spaces. And, and this is a set of spatial language I've created first. I define a boundary of the side and put a grade on it and pick boxes out of it. It's a pretty straightforward way of creating space. It 
generates contextual spaces that can be constantly combined together, pretty much like a tree spreading branches in the air. And at the end of the project, I took anti-architecture as an alternative vision of understanding townscape. I tried to draw the site after a catastrophic damage, such as a bomb or war. I've also made a series of sketches showing the experience of walking through this traumatic space. And then there's something um, colorful and green growing out of the ruins and transforming it into a fantasy world. It's a process of urban evolution, exploring the optimism in architecture. My inspiration came from Lebius Woods. And followed up my experimental town study project, I've made uh, several self-motivated drawings in the same theme of exploring the optimism in architecture. I've tried to make imaginations more solid and I found it quicker through hand, draw, hand sketches at first. And it's all about putting something colorful in a ruined setting. And I've collected images of towns I've traveled to and on the website and collaged them together in my mind and making improvisational sketches out of the, the mental collage. There was no obvious intention theme in making these sketches, but I wrote some stories of drawings afterwards. And my idea in making these drawings are to transform ambiguous thoughts into a clearly defined form using architecture as an instrument. I think these sketches are just a start for me and I would in the future make something three-dimensional out of it, such as an animation of experience or game design.